Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about CRISPR, which is also called as Cluster Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Here the DNA loci contain short repetition of base sequence. Repetition is followed by short segment of spacer DNA. CRISPR loci range in size from 24 to 48 base pair. The spacer DNA or region on for region of non-coding DNA between tandemly repeated genes. CRISPRs are found in approximately 40% of sequenced bacterial genome and 90% of uh, sequenced archaea. CRISPR case system in prokaryotic uh, uh, is a prokaryotic immune system. That means the uh, CRISPR case system is a prokaryotic Im immune system confer resistance to foreign genetic elements such as plasmid phage and provide a form of acquired immunity CRISPR spacer recognize and cut these exogenous genetic element since 19 uh, since uh, 2013 the CRISPR case system has been used for gene editing and gene regulation Usually, the CRISPR system consists of a two part. One is a guide RNA, which is a single stranded RNA, which has a target specific CRISPR RNA sequence. Another one is a case 9 nucleus, which is a, um, which is a nucleus with a two active site. So, to form a CRISPR system, these two will combine where uh, the one of the active site of the nucleus CRISPR-9 will be bound with the target specific cry, uh, CRISPR RNA sequence. Whenever the bacteria is infected with the bacteriophage, the bacteriophage will inject its DNA inside the bacterial uh, cell. Once this DNA of the phage enter into the bacterial cell, this bacterial DNA will be taken by this CRISPR system and that DNA will be complementary to the target specific CRISPR RNA sequence. So, when it will bind with that uh, phage DNA, the one of the active site will start to cleave, both the active sites start to cleave the uh, target or the pathogen uh, DNA that means the phage DNA will be cleaved by this nucleus activity of caspase 9. So, in this way the bacteria will be protected from the bacteriophage through CRISPR action. Application Artificial immunization against phage by introduction of engineered CRISPR loci in industrial important bacteria including those used in food production and large scale fermentation. Genome engineering at cellular or organismic level by programming, reprogramming of CRISPR-Cas system in system to achieve RNA guided genome engineering. Discrimination of bacterial strain by comparison of spacer sequence. Even it could be utilized for genome editing. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.